I utterly condemn the far-right thuggery we've seen this weekend. Be in no doubt, those that have participated in this violence will face the full force of the law. Police will be making arrests, individuals will be held on remand, charges will follow, and convictions will follow. But if you're taking part in this violence, you will regret it and you'll be brought to justice as quickly as possible. I utterly condemn the far-right thuggery we've seen this weekend. Be in no doubt, those that have participated in this violence will face the full force of the law. The police will be making arrests, individuals will be held on remand, charges will follow, and convictions will follow. This is not protest. It is organised, violent thuggery. And it has no place on our streets or online. People in this country have a right to be safe. And yet, we've seen Muslim communities targeted. Attacks on mosques. Other minority communities singled out. Nazi salutes in the street, attacks on the police, wanton violence alongside racist rhetoric. So no, I won't shy away from calling it what it is, far-right thuggery. If you target people because of the colour of their skin or their faith, then that is far-right, and I'm prepared to say so. But it doesn't matter what apparent motivation there is. This is violence, it is not protest. It doesn't matter what the motivation is. The motivation for the vast majority of people in this country is to see their streets safe. And that's what I'm determined that we will deliver. I think there needs to be the full force of the law. And I think it needs to be swift. What happened in 2011 was that we were able to see individuals who took part in violence arrested, charged, remanded and convicted very swiftly. Standing arrangements are in place for that and we will do whatever it takes to ensure that the message is absolutely clear that if you're taking part in this violence, you will regret it and you'll be brought to justice as quickly as possible. <laughs>